This year, one of our garden goals was controlling vine borers. It's number four on my garden goal management for success list. Number four is X vine borers. Why is controlling the vine borers on my garden list? It's because this year, one of my big garden goals was to just do damage control and prevent disasters. We've had some crazy crop disasters. Our beans have been wiped out by bean beetles. Our cabbage in the past has been destroyed by caterpillars and squash can get knocked out in a single day if you're not careful. Um, it can go from having beautiful lush plants like these here behind me to having just dry shriveled wilting plants. The first thing I'm doing is just a little survey and walking through and none of them have real obvious damage. You can tell looking at these plants, if you've never seen them, you can just tell from a distance when they've been hit bad because the whole plants can die um, in, in a day. Well, it seems like a day. Vine borers are a moth and the adult moths feed on nectar. Their larvae, however, feed on squash, pumpkin, zucchini, vines. And what the adults do is they come in and they lay their eggs on the squash plants. And then when the larvae hatch out, they eat into the vine and then they eat their way up on the inside and will just kill a whole plant. Here are some um, eggs right here. Just the very lowest section where they come out of the ground is where the larvae will eat their way in. And you can see a little bit of frazz. I don't see any entry spots here. If you have a plant and you find where one of the larvae have entered, you can cut it out. You can carefully slit down the stalk and pull it out. I don't have any that I think they've gone into yet. They all look good so far. So what we're doing today is preventative. We're using Bt to control these vine borers today. Bt is actually a bacteria that will kill caterpillars and some larvae when they consume it, when they eat it. What you need is some Bt, some water, household sprayer, and if you're gonna use the injecting method, you need a little hypodermic syringe with a needle. It doesn't really matter how big the needle is. This is a big one, this is an 18 gauge needle. You wanna start this method when your plants are starting to bloom. If you don't have Bt on the outside of your stem, when they eat through, then the uh, spraying in the future won't affect them because it won't get into the stem where they're gonna live. So spraying is only effective to prevent them from actually entering the vines. Once they're in there, spraying's not effective. Injecting though can actually catch them when they're on the inside and kill them because they're eating in there. So if you see your vines are already affected, you see a spot where they've entered, you don't wanna cut it out. Injecting right above that site might be the best option. A little jar like this will go a long way for spraying. We're gonna mix four teaspoons for a gallon of water for this concentration. Bt is pretty non-toxic. Now, you do not wanna get it in your eyes and definitely don't wanna breathe it in as you're spraying it, but other than that, it's pretty safe. What you wanna make sure you do is get every single vine focusing on the base where they're gonna be eating their way into your vines. You should repeat this about every five to seven days from the time that they're blooming until you harvest. And that may seem like a lot, but one sprayer just did this whole patch, hit the base of every single plant, and it took about two minutes. Now for those tough cases where you think you already have vine borers in your vines, we're gonna take a little bit more concentrated mix and drop just a few milliliters. I've seen people recommend from one to three milliliters. We're gonna go about one to two inches or three inches up this vine here insert it right into the middle and inject it in there. I'm gonna inject it right, stick it into the vine. If you inject it real slowly, it's less likely to leak out. This vine comes out of the ground right here and I'm gonna stick this in and inject it up into this section right here. Considering how long it takes to inject the vines and that you really need to do it every five to seven days, I am not gonna be regularly injecting my vines unless I see that there are vine borers actually in the vines, which I'll do a quick inspection every time I spray. What I'm excited about in the garden this year is actually getting some of these crops that we've struggled with in the past by taking very targeted, focused action to um, prevent and or correct 
um, pest problems that we've had in the past. Even though the garden is way more weedy than I wish it was, and some of our corn looks really just puny and yellow. I feel like this year's garden has been a success so far because we've been able to meet some of our goals. Here's one of the big successes is growing these cabbage. Look at this. We have never grown cabbage successfully, but here we are. Um, we took targeted intervention. We covered the cabbage with row cover and then after the row cover came off, sprayed with BT. And the results here are just spectacular. You cabbage patch baby. That's what you are, isn't it? We're taking these focused interventions in the garden to come out with this beautiful fresh food and stuff like this amazing oregano sauerkraut. This is something they make in Central America. It has a lot of oregano and onions in it. It's very tangy, it has a unique flavor. To me, this is one of the most enjoyable things about gardening is just eating the food that comes out of there. Say probably the top thing. So delicious. Guys, thanks for joining us today. It's been another great morning in the homestead. We'll see you in the garden soon. Bye.